Adventures of Hiram Holiday. Based on stories by Paul Gallico. Starring Wally Cox. Operator, no. I was talking to Mr. Joel Smith in Genoa, Italy. You cut me off. Yes. Smith? Prentice again. Well, next time you call me, don't do it in the middle of the night. Yes, I got your last story. What's wrong with you, Smith? Am I spending thousands of dollars for you to make up things that a child wouldn't believe? Hiram Holiday blowing up the Rock of Gibraltar, engaged to a gypsy, fighting a duel with a dagger and a rapier. Now admit it, you made that up out of whole cloth. But it actually happened, Mr. Prentice. I didn't make it up. He actually... I wasn't born yesterday, Smith, or the day before. Blowing up the Rock of Gibraltar. That's not even good science fiction. What's wrong with you? But you... I guess I lost my head, Mr. Prentice. Yes. Well, next time, don't try to fool an old hand. And, Smith, don't send in another story without proof. Pictures, you understand? And stay away from that Italian wine. How's Mr. Prentice, Joel? Hiram, if you blow up the Rock of Gibraltar, take a picture for me. Of course, Joel. I think I've got it working now. What, your camera? <laughs> what is that? The uh, Holiday Retroactive Compensating Zoom Lens. <laughs> Not having infinite focus to bring my subject clearly into view from any distance, I'm forced to pursue it by means of this spring device. <laughs> Going on a hunt with it. What kind of hunt? A nature hunt for the elusive Italian pocket gopher, the headstrong lemming, and the shy but determined field mouse. Care to come along? I think I'll stay here, Hiram. I've had enough excitement for one day. Oh. Well, to quote Julius Caesar, Arrivederci. <laughs> for intruding. My name is Hiram Holliday. I will take that picture. I believe there's been a slight misunderstanding. I didn't come in here to take a picture of you and your friend. Hmm. Not that I don't consider you both photogenic. No, indeed. Give it to me. I intruded because I was on the trail of one of the family Muridae. Who? He came in here under the tent and I followed him. In international law, that's known as the doctrine of hot pursuit. Pursuit of what? A prime specimen of the Japanese dancing mouse. Enough of jokes. I'm deadly serious. The Japanese dancing mouse actually only appears to dance because of a defect in his equilibrium. He's more to be pitied than jested at. And what do you intend to do with your picture of the dancing mouse? Well, if it turns out well, it should have considerable news value for my paper, the New York Chronicle. So you work for a newspaper? Yes. Naturally, I'll be glad to send both you gentlemen copies of the picture, if you'll give me your names and addresses. 
I'm sure we will be happy to oblige. Well, it was just a thought. Now, if you'll excuse me. The picture. Or you do not leave here alive. Bandini! Subito! <laughs> Your second thought, I'll give you the camera. I can always make another one. Pardon me. His courage failed. The film. Where is the film? <laughs> Tricked. There is no film. It develops its own pictures. And he has the photograph. After him! You got the picture, huh? You did get it. He got away. Got away? How, how? My men are after him. He cannot get off the grounds. I warned you, Drago. I told you I should not come here. If it is known that we are meeting together. Then the chances of you returning to your former country as uh, head of state, Alexander, shall we say, uh, not bright? Yes. And my need for a bungling chief of staff, General Drago, shall be practically non-existent. He came out of nowhere. Who is he, this man who's made fools of all of you? An American calling himself Hiram Holiday. Oh. You, you know him, Marlena? Huh? Better you would lose the devil himself. We have him bottled up. He cannot get to the police. Hiram Holiday is not a man who would go to the police. A lone hand. A company of carbonary would have been far easier to deal with. You had best... Leave Hiram Holiday to Marlene. You will find him, Marlene, huh? No. He will find me. <laughs> Looks quite empty. I'm expecting a call. Oh. Hey, I hate to appear discourteous, but put the calls to my hotel. They're checking to see if I left my sunglasses on the washstand. Oh. You wouldn't consider my making a call of short duration? My call is important. Of course. Say, what's Nelson Eddy doing here? Nelson Eddy? Where? Do you see Nelson Eddy anywhere? Hello. Hiram. How's the nature hunt? I believe I have a photograph of some value, Joel. At least there are a number of individuals who are trying to take it from me, forcibly. Well, where are you? At the carnival grounds. All right. Yeah. Give me all the details. Shoot. Well, I was trying to tell Excuse me, Joel. Someone wants to use the phone. Someone wants to... Hiram, you can't hang up now. I have to... Hiram! Operator, give me the police. Valencia! Carabinara! I'm terribly sorry about the phone. With the glorious art of antiquity all about you. Do you think you should be looking at that? Oh, well, it's just that there's something very familiar about the young lady. Yes, isn't there? Wouldn't you rather view some old ruins? Well, I'm very fond of old ruins, but... Hi, Aram. <laughs> the young lady, you do not keep her waiting. I'll uh, say, perhaps you'd better mail this postcard. I may be tied up in the <laughs> I don't remember getting in the postcard's mail. Or did I? We meet again, High Arm Holiday. Release him. I thought I left you in Paris, in the Bastille. How could they hold me, Hiram? You ate the evidence, remember? Yes, that's true. <laughs> and here you are again in difficulty. You have a picture we must have. Produce it or die. 
I feel I should warn you about your choice of companions. Search him. If compelled, I shall resist. Bandini. No, not here. Where then? A place less public and more quiet. And where, dear Hiram, I shall be most persuasive. The tunnel of love. With you? Alone? Hardly. Bandini and I shall act as chaperones. Oh, thank you. That's quite a relief. <laughs> Beautiful. Maybe he has a gun home, eh? He wouldn't do that. As much as told me over the phone, he's in trouble. Something about a picture. Uh-huh. He has gone on the trail of those who stole the Mona Lisa. Yes? All right. Uh, look, I know we've looked all over, but couldn't we take just a few more minutes? Hiram Holiday is not the type. Are you a policeman? Si, senor. I want to report a missing pair of sunglasses. Well, I may have left them my hotel on the washstand. But just as I was phoning there, this rather frightened young man came along, and I never found out if I did. Senora, I... Look, a man's that. life may be in danger, and here you are talking about sunglasses. I senor. left them at Monte Carlo. Senora, I, 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 how would you like me to report this to the American? Senora. I'll be quiet since I think of that. Senora, senora. Hello, John. Hi, Ron. You are wonderful, darling. We must go around again. <laughs> that is your friend? Yes, but... And this is the trouble he's in? Well... In Italy, every man wishes for such a trouble. <laughs> Come with me to the station, please. I wonder why he gave me that postcard. <laughs> I rather thought I could reach you at the police station. Hiram, where are you? I have temporarily eluded my pursuers. The girl, too? I have no time to defend my reputation, Joe. Listen carefully. I think I know the identity of the man whose picture I took while photographing the Japanese dancing mouse. What? Oh, never mind. His name is Alexander, the former dictator of Bulgravia. Hiram, that man is in Paris. He's not even allowed to leave France. Nevertheless, I took his picture in Genoa. I believe an international coup is in the making. Have you got the picture? I have it in a safe place. Well, if you've got proof, Hiram. Just call the Paris police, Joel, and then call me back here. The number is 12579. Goodbye. I was Hiram Holiday. See? Uh, it seems that while photographing a Japanese dancing mouse, he also got a picture of Alexander Borgravia. Plotting a revolution. Very likely. Uh, and we're to call the Paris police just to make sure it was Alexander. Alexander the man? Or Alexander the dance in a mouse? The man. Then we call him back. Uh, Hiram. Hiram. Uh, the man? Yes. Send me Garbanera de Paris. No, no, no. Paris. See. Si. Grazie. Phone. Yes, I am. Well, I hate to be a nuisance, but I have a very important call coming in. Another social engagement? No, it's about a man who's trying to overthrow a government. I took his picture while photographing a dancing mouse. I suppose you find that hard to believe. No, it sounds very logical. Hello? 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 Hiram, are you there? Just a minute, Joel. Where are you, Joel? Uh, did they call Paris? Yes, 
they call Paris. Hiram, the French police say Alexander never left the country. Hiram, are you still there? I'm still here, Joel. But I'm thinking that I'm about to be cut off. I think you better come out here. Joel? Hiram! something I picked up along the way. You're sweet. And I shall help you. If it's all the same with you, I'd rather you didn't bother. You're not all bad, Hiram. All I need is the help of a good man. I should be glad to recommend a capable psychiatrist. <laughs> They're coming. Drago and Bandini, go through there quickly. This is this the snake concession? It is the dressing room of another performer. He will not show up tonight. He is drinking. Put on his costume. A suitable disguise, I trust? They will never know you, and you would be safe, dear Hiram. Safe! Not leaving for a second, I go. Have you found him, Drago? Not yet. He slips through our fingers like quicksilver. You need not worry. Why? Hiram Halliday will leave his clothes, which we can search to our leisure, then leap to his death from a hundred foot tower. What madness is this? I told you, leave Hiram Halliday to me. Watch. Senores y senoras, in all of Europe, in all of the world, so much great act of daring, he died from 120 feet into the tank, only five feet deep. <laughs> Signores and signoras, the great Guido. <laughs> told you. But will he go up? I'll see that he does. You are the substitute for Guido? I suppose so. You know your business? To dive it is not easy. Well, I never tried it before, but... But what? I suppose the only way to learn is to do it. <laughs> Of love? Oh, yes. Is he a friend of yours? Yes, have you seen him? Of course. 
Have you found my sunglasses yet, officer? Please, I have reason to believe that he might be in danger. Danger? Hardly. He's just out for a good time. You've never seen him? Of course. There he is. Officer, you gotta do something. He's gonna kill himself. If he doesn't have to jump, nothing is a lost. If he jumps, he's a buffoon, and nothing is a lost. <laughs> of a postcard, but Orville collects stamps. Is that all right? Yes, perfectly. <laughs> Fantastic, Mr. Prentice. Most fantastic drivel I've ever seen. What is the matter with you, Smith? You send me three pages of wild nonsense about a photograph that Holiday took, and you don't send the picture. Where is the proof? But, but there's proof. Just contact the small boy in Des Moines, Orville Huckabee. He's got the picture. In the foreground, you'll see a Japanese dancing mouse. Yeah. Uh, hello? Hello, Mr. Prentice. He hung up. I'm sorry, Joel, but the plot was foiled. That's the important thing, isn't it? Oh, sure. You going somewhere, Harold? I'm trying out my new camera on a nature hunt with Mrs. Huckabee. Oh. Care to come along? I don't think so, Harold. I suppose I should. But somehow I just don't have the strength. 